Welcome back to Frontline News Channel wherever you are watching us. Today is the second day of President Ruto on his uh, visit tour to America for development of the country as he he said or talked about before leaving the country. President William Ruto who is, who is in the USA on a tour day state visit will preside over a series of activity and met various leaders on his second day of the tour but something that is shocking kenyan is that uh, we are not seeing the pictures of uh, some mps or minister of the ministers of kenya who accompanied together with the honorable william samoy ruto in the tour they are not being seen in the in the photos of Atlanta University Center, but by the way, let us let us see, let us wait and see what is going on because they should be taking photo with the His Excellency President William Ruto. Ruto will start his day by visiting the Atlanta University Center, with the focus being strengthening educational ties between the U.S. and Kenya, and imagine. President William Ruto did not use any or any aeroplane or any jet that is here in Kenya. President Ruto hired a jet cost 200 million for just a visit of a US, USA and uh, some part of the country. Imagine 200 million for five days. Where well, in, in, here in Kenya there is a lot of money. President President Uru, President Ruto is still hiring a a private jet of over 200 million, and on this side is increasing the rate of tax. What can that 200 million cover is a very very huge place. So I don't know why he's hiring a private jet. Yet here in Kenya, there are those jets that President Moi use, President Uru use. Kibaki use it, Kenyatta use it, and they are still good and and they at their condition. So we don't know why pre president decided to hire a project jet which is more expensive. Project is more expensive in the world. That just cost two hundred million. At the center, he is set to sign exchange programs with various universities and technical colleges promoting theme of investing in a shared future through education. Those are the same agenda that the president is now focusing in the U.S. to uh, He did not just go there for a uh, uh, own visit or celebration. He just go there for development of Kenya so that Kenya can interact with the with the US and some other country very well. Second he said that he want to change Kenya to be like US but Kenya cannot be like US. You know US is a development it's a developed country. US, Ethiopia, Russia and those big inches. Those big cities uh, those three cities are developed more developed than Kenya. So I think if you want Kenya to be at least look alike a USA or any other country, it should just go by increasing tax on a small rate like from 14, you take it to 15 or 16 instead of t removing it from 16 to 22. That one is it, it will be having the giving the life of people of Kenya be, to be on a bad condition because there are some people who are going to some labor job, mjengo, hmm, sweeping the cities, collecting dust. So you mean such kind of jobs and again you want to tax them after go, getting from job they are tired. If they go to some shops they are increase some things like bread now the the people that who will be buying bread will be minimum as uh, but things are being purchased here in kenya because you cannot buy a bread as an 80 bob a bread which you use you normally used to buy it at 50 because it, at first the bread was 50 it came from 50 it, go, it went to 60 
Now it is from it is now eighty bob. Like the way the president is taxing people of Kenya is not not good. And I hope this point. I'm just hoping that MPs MPs not to pass the this not to pass this bill in the parliament. Because if they will be if this bill will be passed, the oh, it's only Kenyans who are bottom up that will suffer most those people like mps or what are earning a lot of money there in the parliament and any other people who is working at a, a government job here is will meet here he will meet with the germany awards official creative kenyans in a hollywood and an international artist we like rick rose some big artists international artists this visit aimed to boost bolster kenya creative economic and uh, explore collaboration opportunities so that uh, calligraph jones otili brown king kaka nyashinsky willie paul and any other artists who, who is big in kenya like bn saudi soul can go and uh, to co- collaboration easy with an international artist so that uh, the mu- music industry of Kenya can occupy to the next uh, level. The tour of studio will highlight the potential for future project and partnership. Yes, Coca-Cola headquarters, that is the next point. In the afternoon, the head of state is scheduled to visit the Coca-Cola headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia. Here, the president William Ruto will sign an investment deal underscoring the importance of trade and uh, investment in generating prosperity. Recently, the soft drink pledged nearly cash 3 billion for the up- upgrade of the Nairobi factory. This deal expected to enhance economic ties and a boost mutual growth to the country he will also number four vivo fashion and uh, several kenyan memes he will also showcase successful kenya business abroad with a visit to vivo fashion and other kenyan msmes this segment of his tour highlights the achievement of Kenya enterprises on the international stage and their contribution to global market. Point number five, meeting with Atlanta Mayor Dinken. Later in the day, he will, meet, he will meet with Atlanta Mayor Andrew Dickens. This meeting aims to foster stronger ties between Nairobi and Atlanta, exploring avenues for collaboration on various fronts, including urban development and governance development. Point number six, private factor event. Ruto will conclude his day with a private sector event, bringing together Kenyan business and their counterpart in Atlanta, that is a private sector. The Ruto is out of country for five days. I want to watch five days. This gathering will facilitate networking, exchange of ideas, and a potential partnership, further solidifying the economic relationship between the two regions. And I hope the Kenyans who are in those countries those foreign countries are now happy if the president visit that place they are not being ruled so badly by the time the president is on the year uh, places and don't forget that here in kenya president ruto and his deputy regarding Ashagwa are not in a good condition but they are just they are on a cold war which I don't think if which everybody is now know getting to know because medias are asking questions here and there. Oh, things are now getting up on Mount Kenya that Rigati Gashago will be replaced with Andindi Nyoro coming 2027. Oh, people of Mount Kenya don't want to Uru Kenyatta. Some are some don't want Uru Kenyatta to rule as their kingpin. Oh. 
Lindi nyo no Origadi Gashago also want to be the kingpin of Mount Kenya. And uh, not knowing that imagine people that are working as a top as a top job in government are always are also coming from that Mount Kenya. Like uh, the minister of water foreigner water source is just come from Mount Kenya. The minister of uh, don't know economy come from Mount Kenya. These people with top job ranking job just come from Mount Kenya because Uru Kenyatta Mount Kenya was a former president. Rigathi Ashagwa Mount Kenya is now a deputy president. Oh, Pre- president Uru Kenyatta, I don't know if he's from Mount Kenya, but I will do an investigation about that. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our analysis. Let us wait and see what uh, President William Ruto we ca- will come up with it from uh, his tour to US and any other country. Remember to subscribe and comment for more updates. And stay tuned so that anytime we link up with the news from USA or any other part of the country, you will be involved on time. Let us meet.